the new moon before dawn on Tuesday, raises sensitivity and reaches out for emotional connection. Underlying the main events, family patterns are being explored and the bottom line is universal desire to be loved and accepted. This is the second Cancer New Moon for the year and we get a flavour of going backwards and forwards, covering the same old ground and feeling like a lot of effort has gone nowhere. But second chances don't happen every time, so make the most of getting the ground rules right and step up. This is a new improved moon with smarter choices, better information and more emotional clarity on what you want and what you have to offer. Family ties are being put under strain, so we start to question what we truly need to feel safe and nurtured. There's a sharp aspect between Mercury and Mars, bringing conflict up for discussion, but don't say more than needed and don't get sucked into passive aggressive exchanges. This is intense, so try to be honest and considered. Uranus is also connecting to Mercury. So there could be a surprise champion for your cause or a breakthrough communication and about face or a suggestion that boosts your chances. This is a lucky break. Opposite the Sun and Moon, outer planets have bunched as a family group in Capricorn. Brothers Jupiter and Pluto with their cranky dad, Saturn. Jupiter wants to expand and Saturn wants to restrict. Pluto is at the midpoint between them, pretty much creating a rock and a hard place. This can make you feel squeezed or overlooked, bingy and frustrated. You're hungry for more, but you can't get it. Pluto likes to wind up obsessions and paranoia, so keep your feet on the ground. Observe carefully before acting out of impulsive anxiety. It's okay to practice restraint at this time. Work with Saturn to get disciplined, stoic and responsible. Check your facts. Build a solid foundation in the here and now, instead of castles in the sky. Neptune who loves to build castles in the sky, is being the wind beneath the wings, casting a silky lifeline to this Capricorn cluster and the new moon. This softens the edges, bringing out the psychic antenna and some magnetic attraction. Neptune is the planet of fog and mystery, but in this situation, it's something you hoped for, even yearned for is landing. And it might come as a stroke of luck or an act of generosity or a romance is opening up or being rekindled. But whatever it is, you have reasons to feel grateful and even a bit special. The Capricorn combo suggests that this is also a time when government response to COVID-19 will need adjustments and some flexibility to ease pressure. Cancerian themes point to health workers, caregivers, home and families needing more practical support and recognition. But I also get a sense that gun laws will feature. Neptune's positive influence could bring relief for creative types, mental health services, the cruise ships and people stranded overseas in the lockdown. The spotlight is focused on the home and the new moon requires emotional understanding, dignity and empathy from those in positions of power. It's a way to go yet, but true authority is being shifting to align with the heart and a holistic approach to service, care and protection. We are one family and it's time to care for the ones we love. I'm Meryl Key and this is my mystery school. Like follow, share and subscribe. If you'd like an astrology, tarot or holistic kinesiology session with me, contact me through my website www.merylkey.com.